and welcome to an overview of UltraQuest from Select Business Solutions. What is UltraQuest? UltraQuest is a web-based industrial strength ad hoc and production reporting solution that can directly access and join a wide variety of data together. On the mainframe we can access vSAM, QSAM, DB2, IMS, IDMS, Nomad, and tape files as well as Oracle and SQL Server. Provides a variety of output options text, graphs, PDF, and delimited XML and fixed format files as well as email. Has complete and flexible end-user scheduling. Users can schedule requests to run daily, weekly, monthly, or annually. UltraQuest runs under ZOS and ZVM with no additional hardware required. Provides both batch and online processing. Secures data with multi-level security at the database record and field levels based on the user and works with RACF, ACF, and Top Secret. It has multi-language and currency support, integrates with desktop applications, is highly tuned for efficient use of mainframe resources. The main components of UltraQuest is UltraQuest Reporter, where users can create, modify, execute, schedule, and publish requests and create dashboards from an installed Java client. Utilize a wizard to step the user through building a new request and modify an existing one. With UltraQuest Library, users can simply select, execute, schedule, and view requests from their web browser. UltraQuest applications allow you to build web browser-based applications accessing the mainframe data. With UltraQuest Web Services, you can build requests that can access data for distributed applications or SOA using Java and .NET interactive de development environments. UltraQuest can reduce the demand on your IT group by allowing the end users to be self-sufficient, replace less robust and more complicated reporting tools such as EasyTrieve, Focus, WebFocus, Ramus, Vision Results, and CA Earl. It can be used as an ETL tool where you can extract, transform, and create a load file to be used in further processing. Reduce distribution costs by delivering reports electronically. Easily support a large number of users and can handle large volumes of data. So what I'd like to do now is go into UltraQuest Reporter and start the live demonstration. So what you see in front of you is the UltraQuest Reporter desktop. This is what allows you to go in to modify existing requests, create new requests, publish those requests uh, to the UltraQuest library, and create dashboards. But for this, I'm going to go through and I'm going to build a new request. First, you select the database that you want to access, and then the table. Then you move over to the fields that you want to see in your report. Well, I want to see the branch number, the account number, what is the account status, what is the customer's name, what is their current balance, what is the open date, and what's the name of the product. These buttons allow me to add literals and to create expressions. There are over 100 built-in functions and operators provided. The preview button allows you to see what the report looks like as of right now and the yellow question mark on each of the dialogues is for online help. So now that I've selected my columns, I click Next, and now I build in my sorts. Well, I'm going to sort by branch number and a new page every time it changes, then by account number, and then I will click Next to go on to the next dialogue. This is the summary dialogue where you can go build a summary report uh, so you can apply different functions to numeric and alphanumeric fields. So you can have the sum, the average, the maximum value, minimum value, and standard deviation, all you see here to your right. But I want a detailed report, so I'll just simply click Next. And now we're at the column attributes. This is where I can change the column headings, the column formats, um, all that information is on this one dialog. Click Next. Data filtering. This is how you want to filter or restrict the data that's on your request. 
So I'm going to uh, screen on current balance, so I'll click next. Say I'm going to build my filter and then choose the correct operator. I want to say everything that's greater than or equal to $1,000. This variable button will allow me to add a variable so at runtime it will prompt me to enter this value. This is very handy when you're publishing reports. So now I have my filter in place, so I click Next, and now I come to the Join dialog. This is where I can join to other tables and databases within uh, UltraQuest. And then we also have the different types of joins, and we support all the major ones. We have Merge, the Extract, Subset, and the reject or outer join. But in this request I don't need to join anything so I'll just go back to this dialog and click Next. Here's my subtotaling and totaling. So I will want a subtotal every time the branch changes and a grand total. Click Next and now I can build my report heading or report title. So I'm going to insert some text here insert the system time at the top of the report. There are several other options that you can have down here. Uh, you'll see on the annotations and additional options. So I click Next. And now I choose I'm ready to run. So now we can choose do we want a report, do we want a file, do we want a chart, or a database. So we're going to create a, a report. So we can go into Report Setup, make changes here, I'm going to make it formatted using the UQ logo style sheet and make it a PDF. So now I'm ready to run. So next is what is your destination? Do you want it to come to your browser? Do you want it to go to a mainframe attached printer or cold storage? Do you want to have it emailed to you? Or do you want to hold it and view it later? And then also the runtime. Do you want to run it online? or in batch. And you can see batch is uh, grayed out here. So I'm going to choose hold, choose batch, and then the schedule button becomes active. And this is where I can go in if I wanted to and schedule this report and set all that information up. So you choose the frequency, when do you want it to run, and when do you want this cycle to start, and when do you want it to end, and what to do if it falls on a non-work day or holiday. But for this, I'm going to run it online to my browser, and now I click Submit. So now it's going out there and it's gathering the data, formatting it, creating a PDF, and then we'll deliver the results to my desktop. Here it is opening Adobe, because this is a PDF report, and now it's loaded into my uh, into Adobe Reader. So here you can see for branch one its grand totals, and then I can page through the report, print the pages I want to see, save a copy, uh, whatever I need to do. So if I wanted to create it as a file, I switch this to file, I can execute it, say I want to create a CSV file, now it's going to come down as CSV and my computer will open up Excel and it will be populated into a spreadsheet. And now I can do further analysis with this with Excel. The next thing I want to show is the UltraQuest library. So this is the UltraQuest home page where you, and this is fully customizable. So I have some menus and some menus here. The first thing you'll notice is a regional manager dashboard. If I click on that it will go and create this dashboard and you can see here that we have all different types of charts. We have bar charts, graphs, pie charts, line charts, and then just a basic listing. This can be fully customizable and can be the data can be changed based on who's logging in and their ID. If I go back to the UltraQuest homepage, we have the deposit system. If I click on that menu, 
can get a listing of reports that I'm authorized to run based on my user ID and the group I'm associated with. So I'm going to run this second one here, list of accounts based on product code. So now I can go in and again you'll see the similar options here, browser, printer, email, hold, online or batch, and there's a uh, schedule button as well. So I could even schedule the request through the UltraQuest library and have the results delivered to me, held or have it emailed to me. But we're gonna, like before, we're going to have it online to my browser. And now these are variables that I uh, put into the request. So now I can change which fields and which options I want to use. So I just click Submit. It's now executing the request and this time it'll come down as a PDF and into my browser. So here's my report again and you'll notice also as a previous report we can embed logos based on the style sheet into your reports. So thank you for your time and if you'd like to get more information or to see a full demonstration you can contact the sales department at 888-472-7347, email at sales at selectbs.com, or visit our website at www.selectbs.com. Thank you for your time, and I hope you have a great day.